three red flags in a woman. If she is overly social or has a bunch of male friends, that's the first thing that's okay. obviously a massive red flag. If she's very aggressive or hyper-masculine, and if she believes in any of this feminist ideal garbage, and when I say feminist, everyone believes that women should be able to have an opinion on certain things or whatever. That's yeah. fine. When I mean like full crazy feminists like the West, that's a massive red flag. Yeah. So what does he mean by full crazy feminists like the West? I think what he's talking about there, like, you know, some people, some we, females out there feel like, uh, I don't need no damn man. I can do everything myself. Mm -hmm. But that's what that's the, we men talk about the feminists. Like, really, that kind of stuff. I'm an independent woman. I don't need a guy. I can do everything by myself. What, what, what's the guy for? Like, who needs a guy? Okay, so... Um... Let's, like, why don't we start this? Oh, what the social media and I have okay. too, too many guy friends. I was gonna start with that. So the social media. So I don't know. That all depends. Like I don't understand what's wrong with being too social on social media. I mean, if if that woman is maybe a what do you call them? What do you mean? Like what? Someone that goes around liking other guys' stuff a lot. What? Okay, so or in influencer. Okay, if you're an influencer, that's different. Like, isn't that like a job? You're kind of. You yeah. gotta be social, right? You have to be social. Okay, so that doesn't count. Why not? If, well, because she's being okay. So she okay. She's basically working, so she has to be social. She has to gather people's attention, right? Okay. Well, he's just saying it's a red flag because while she's being social or working, she has to talk to a whole bunch of guys, right? But that's what you're assuming, though. It doesn't mean that she has to talk to a bunch. Well, of Well, you guys. just said she has to be social. Yeah. So there could so be. So what does that mean when you say you have to be social? Men and women, right? But majority is going to be. Yeah, but that's not her fault. But I'm just there's saying. Well, I, mean, I just between, want to know. What, what okay. Is, so there's a difference between her being social and it's business related. She's working. And then her being social as in she's flirting with like the men. That's different. If she's like, okay, this may be a red flag. If she's always on social media talking with a bunch of guys and posting um, videos or uh, photos of her like half naked which most of them do then that's and, different especially in the west though i mean it's okay if you post like your you know one or two bikini pictures and whatever but if like all of her stuff is like in her lingerie or something then you know that's that's something else you see like i i, I think here's how i think unless she's a laundry model or something like that mm -hmm. i don't think she pulls around that kind of stuff like sure you you want you want people to see like okay I got your wife's gorgeous I would like that but I want to know like that's my girl and like I feel like I should keep her as for me that's my girl right at the same time would you like if let's say it was reversed around if your man is like posting like sexy pictures like that online and you know, all these girls are like looking at at him so let me like, just say this if he's getting paid for it that's fine by me because he's getting paid if he's just doing it and he's not even making a buck off of that then. What the fuck are you doing? So that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Like, why are you on there posting like thirst traps for girls and you're not even getting a, a dollar from it? That's true. That's questionable. That means he's just seeking attention from women. It's one thing if he's, uh, you know, seeking attention from women and it's in order to make money, mm -hmm. then that's different. And as long as I have his password, then we're good. So you're more comfortable. You feel more comfortable if you know. I know what he's doing. Yeah, as long as I can see it, he's but not hiding that, it. But then it becomes a, a case of trust, though. You trust your man? Yeah, at but that point? here's the thing. I would trust him, but to make me have more trust in him is So him you don't trust your man? That's, that's, no. When it comes down to it, you don't trust okay. your man. So I trust him, but I also you feel like... You trust him to a certain extent. Yeah, but I also feel like he should be comfortable being like, oh, yeah, girl, go look at my phone, look at my whatever. There's nothing there. Yeah, I don't sure. care. You can look at it. Yeah. Just like if he was to ask me, I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure. Take my phone. I don't care. There's there's nothing on there. Okay. And if you have to do that to to uh, prove to your person that you are faithful, you're not cheating, then why not? It shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. As long as that person's not like every day, like scrolling through your phone, like, Ooh, who you're talking to? What? Yeah, that means he doesn't trust you. But yeah, if they just you. take it and then they're casually looking through it, and the guy doesn't like flinch, like oh my god, she has my phone. Yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, I think. So now, what about uh, when it has too many guy friends? Why? Why do? Why do women need so many guy friends? Like, how would you? Let's say, let's just turn around. If your man or whoever you're dating 
has a whole bunch of female friends, like really attractive female friends at this point. Uh, what would you honestly like think? Like, what, what's going through your head right now when he says, "Hey, I'm gonna go out with Lisa." I think, mean, fuck Lisa. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Go out with me? No. Okay. So this is another thing now. So I don't even know how to start. Okay. So when I I feel like it's okay to an extent for a woman to have male friends because I feel like women in general kind of have like more control of their hormone sort of i mean not all uh, women but what i'm, what I I'm hold on okay. what i'm getting at though is when a man okay let's use me for example say i have a bunch of guy friends okay now those guy friends may like me yes they might find me attractive whatever but i view them as a friend right so the only way anything could happen between me and that guy is if I say, hey, okay, so well, that's let's, fine. Let's get it on. That, that, then the guy would take the bait, right? Yeah, it, uh, it, they it's really the, probably want to smash. It's it's up to the woman, right? But they would want to smash right away, right? Exactly. Okay, so now let's, let's. So it's up to me. So if he had female friends, those girls, if they want to do have sex with him, all they got to do is just be like, hey, Bobby, or whatever his name is. And then he might take the bait. So are you, are you trying to say that men don't have self-control? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm just saying that it's up to a woman if she wants to give it up. So she can make that seductive, um, oh, what do you call it? <laughs> seductive what? Move? Or attempt? To play yes. What? She can do that seductive move on the guy. And then it's up to him if he wants to take it or, or leave it. But a guy can seduce a woman. But half the time, they're just like. Mm. So you're basically saying it's okay, but it's not okay if a man has a whole bunch of girlfriends. I just want to, I'm just trying to understand here because you're saying it's based on the girl, the female, she, she, because she can shut it down. It's yeah, up to her. She can shut it down. But why can't a guy have a whole bunch of girlfriends? I just feel like men can't control themselves. I just feel like it's a double standard though. I mean, it can like, be. Like, like, I'm, like I know there's a lot of girls out there who are the same way, they will be like a man. And they will, you know, they can't control themselves. Yeah, and it just... That's true. I think it all just boils down to the, the person you are. The I, man, the female you are, that's it. If you know your man well enough that he's the type of guy who has eyes for one woman, then it's okay. Just as long as I know these female friends, I've met these female friends, and they know who I am. Okay, so and what if these guys' friends, you know that they want to smash, but you, you still keep them around? Why are you keeping them around? What's the point? You already have your man. What's the point of having them? What 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 what, what well, benefit does it have to have these guy friends around? With that case, that's a major red flag. I personally like girls with with a whole bunch of guy friends. One day they have daddy issues. I find, or two, they have some. They they like the attention. They don't want to admit it. They they like the attention of all the guys giving them around. Always willing to like go out with them. Like hey, how was your day? But knowing in the back of their head, like hey, if I wanted to smash this guy. I could I could smash him anytime I want. If if uh, let's say your man at the time is acting dumb, yeah, you're acting dumb. Guess what? I'm gonna call up call up Ricky or Ronnie. Hey, what are you doing? Come, want to come over? Let's smash just to get back to your guy. How quick is that? You see what I mean? So having girls, having a whole bunch of guy friends, that's a that's a big ass red flag for me. And I think just like I said, you got to come on. If your man pisses you off, or if you find that your man like did cheat on you or something, what's the first thing you're probably gonna want to do? Try to get back revenge or you think? And then you, how quick? Easy it is. Well, you. he just said if he cheated on me. If yeah. he cheated on me, that's a different story. Okay, like, if he cheated on you, you're going to do the same thing? You I'm cutting his throat. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Like, I wouldn't, like, it would just be over by, you know? Um, But you know what? I'll just say this. If you're in a relationship, regardless, those friends of the opposite sex should just kind of. No. Just kind of slowly disappear. Yeah, they should know, right? And I mean, if it, if there's ones that are actually you're cool with and you didn't do anything with, then introduce them to your okay. spouse and that's, let them that's be friends. A good one. See, like there are certain friends that because I have girlfriends as well where mm-hmm. we have not done anything. We have like nothing at all. Like I've known them for years. Yeah, and I feel like those are the ones you know. Those are your you can call your friends. But if there's a guy that you know you have done something with. You kissed him. At some point, he liked you. It, it, it doesn't matter when, how long ago it was. some point, he liked you. I think those got to go. Well, and same thing for the girls. I'm not just saying. If there's a girl that I knew that liked me or I did stuff with her, 
No, those girls gotta go. See, but then how do you know if they liked you? Like, what if they like? Because this happens a lot. What if they like secretly like you, but you don't know? Oh, please, most girls know. Trust me, they 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 know. They just they just. No, I'm talking about the men because a lot of you men don't know nothing. Well, the thing about it, men are very simple. We don't. We don't unless we truly want to smash a girl. We may not even know that girl may have liked us the whole time. Like for me, I had friends or who I, I thought were friends, and then they told me they liked me. I'm like, what? And I never looked at them that way. Oh yeah, what friends are those? Like, never looked at them that way. What friends are those? Those are just Let's get some names. Long time friends. We can't put Name we can't names. put them out there. You know, you know, we can't put them. Because then I bet you anything, those are the same girls that I told you <laughs> <laughs> liked you. Well, in anyways, the, the the point is, these are girls from a long time ago. Which when I found out, like, like uh, I'm like, you know what? Personally, for me, it can't go on. Especially if I was dating someone, it just can't happen, right? Mm-hmm. The difference I was trying to say, guys, unless guys really want that girl, we won't do anything, all right? And plus, it's it's much harder for a guy to go out there and smash some girl. For a girl, if a girl wants to go out, you step out the door, guarantee you could smash. All I gotta say, hey, what's going on, you guys? Mm-hmm. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Right? It's much, is it much? Which one do you say easier? Is it, do you think it's easier for me to get slayed, or is it easier for you to get laid? For me. Right. That's why it comes down to a girl with too many guy friends. That's a red flag. Those guys got to go. It's not always the case, but okay. okay. Next. Next. What was the next thing? The next thing he says. Uh, was oh, hyper masculinity. Hyper masculine. The basically the ones who think they don't need a man. How do you think that's a red flag? Like those men, those women that go like. Hey, I, I don't need any man. I can do this myself. I'm an independent woman. You know, I thought when he said that he meant like so that she's like masculine. <laughs> Those are well, kind of masculine like that too as well. But he's just saying the independent women, women like saying they don't need no no man. Mm, I don't know. If that's a red flag though, because like I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of like that. I don't go around saying I don't need a man. But in your head, back your head. But it's like I do at the same. Like the thing about it, well, how I look at it is, a man and a woman each. Everyone has their roles, Mm -hmm. right? Man, men are there for like we're naturally stronger than women, right? So obviously, the harder labor a man will do. Mm -hmm. Women are more physically, like like not physically, mentally there. They they can handle a lot more stress than 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 males can. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what I find. Because just giving what labor? Oh my god. Like I, if I honestly had to like cramps like that for hours, and I seen that, and then seen that kid coming out, I don't think I could do that. I want to <laughs> kill myself. I, was, I can't deal with that amount of stress compared to seeing women dealing with all that stress. Like I think women, women can handle that. But like I said, there's certain roles in between where I think women are just better. Women are just naturally better than men, and there's some things that men are just naturally better. Yeah. The issue that what comes apart, uh, like the problem starts. And when is when some of these women, they think they can do everything. Like they think they can do this, they can do that, they can do any anything a man can do, and realistically they can't. Okay, well, I mean, sometimes for in my case, I, I, I don't have a man right now, mm-hmm. but I'm forced to do things that a man is supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't really see how that can be really a red flag. I mean, if she wants to do some manly things, I don't see well, what's I, wrong I don't with think that. It's not that bad. It's the ones that say, I don't need no man. That's the, that's why more going at. Well, then I don't understand that. So if a woman's saying she don't need no man, why would that even be a red flag? She wouldn't even be looking at you in the first place. That's, that's true, you know, I guess. So. I guess that's true. All right. So that's just one of the red flags. What was the other one you said? Um... Feminist? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Feminist. Like the ones that believe that women should have equal rights. Women should get paid the same as a man in, in a job. Well, you, what's you, wrong with that? Okay. You, okay, let's, 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 let's perfect. So you feel, you, you feel like women should get paid the same thing as men? Like, I think everyone should get paid the same okay. way. So if there is a 25-pound rock or something, you think mm-hmm. a woman can move it just as fast as a man? Some, yeah. Okay, let's be realistic. Most, majority. That's not some. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? She so why, still... why, if if I can move something twice as fast as, let's say you, mm-hmm. like if you had the same thing, I get my thing, my job done twice as fast as you, you feel like we should still get paid the same? Mm. 
that well, do twice as much work as you are now. Yeah, but then that's your choice. Like I don't know. This could this could go on forever. Like you could just be smart and work smart and not work hard and just do your pace. You know, you don't have to be like rushing, rushing. I mean, I mean, realistically, yes, we know women are not as strong as men, but why should we get paid less? Like we'll be doing the exact same job when it comes to maybe the heavier lifting. I just think it's it's not not than that. That's or you know what? Is. Let's say it like this: if a if a female or male can lift that weight, then those people that lift the heavy weights daily should get like maybe a little bit more money. It shouldn't just be just geared to men because there are some women out there that can lift this. Okay. That shit, right? Okay. I feel like if you, that's the point. They can both lift at an equal pace, the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. But there's also some things like women are just better at. Like I feel like a woman should get paid more for like, let's say anything kind of assistant work or something like that or a dental assistant, right? Is anything related to like where you have to use your heads a lot? I just feel like women are better at stuff like that. Hmm. That's just that's just what I think at least. And wow. in that case, like I think women should get paid more. It depends on the job when it comes down to it, basically. Yeah. But I think if if they're both at the same level, and the same and like the, the skill cap is the same thing, then sure, you should get paid the same. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, do you do you agree with what Andrew says, basically, or do you somewhat not really? Um, I agree with some of the things. Okay. That he said, but I mean, again, it 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 all depends on like it the scenario. Depends, but yeah, with, with, it he, with just generally majority of you know. Well, in majority, no, I wouldn't really consider all that red flags. I, for me, I I, I I think the red flag for me would be the friends. I have too many guy friends, and also um. The what's that masculine? The one women who think they don't need no man. Then again, like you said, why would she be out there anyway? Right? If she doesn't need no man. She wouldn't be out there anyway. But yet, her, her she doesn't realize her dumbass needs a man to have a kid. Right? How are you gonna have kids? If she wants kids. If she wants kids, okay. But mm -hmm. yeah, she still needs a man for that. So in reality, you need a man. When something goes fucked up in your house or something, let's say some breaks your house, the first thing, guess what? You're calling a big strong man from the police to come come to save you, right? What makes you think it's a strong man that's going to be showing up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing too, like what's another one? In you, in most of the, the Ukraine, the, the war is going on right now. Guess what? It's all the big strong men that's defending the women, right? The army majority of it's men. Uh, well, there's women. In there, too. like one or two. As long are. as those women in the army are getting paid the same. Yeah, they are. But majority yeah. of it, it's a biggest what? It's a big strong man. Because big strong men are just naturally stronger, right? 